Good day, boys and girls. It's a lovely day. We're here today, and we're going to learn about the letter W. Don't forget the alphabet song with the W in it. W for wiggle. Wah, wah, wah. W says wah. Let's start off with a poem, and it's called Weather, Weather. Here we go. Weather, weather. Weather, weather, what will the weather be? Check the sky and then tell me what you see. Do you see bright sunshine beaming? Or are there raindrops streaming? Now tell me, do you? Oh, what do you? think the weather will be today. And look here, I've got question marks and there's the sky with clouds and the sunshine and rain. I don't know about your house, but at my house we got plenty of sunshine. I love the sunshine. Now to make W, let's get our pencil and paper out and let's work on W to make W. We're going to start at the top. Remember, all letters start at the top. We slant to the left. We go back to the top, slant to the right. We've got a V, don't we? But we're not making V, we're making W. We're going to start again here. Slant to the left. Slant to the right. And now we have W, capital W. Let's try again, except let's do lowercase w. We start at the top, slant to the left, slant to the right, slant to the left, slant to the right, and now we've got lowercase w, capital W, lowercase w. <gasps> Look, there are many knees. Now you can practice making more w's. Start at the top, slant to the left, Slant to the right, slant to the left, slant to the right, another W, and let's do lowercase w. Slant to the right, slant to the left, slant to the right, slant to the left, and we've got a lowercase w. Well, we made V's, we ought to be good at V's, and now W's are just two V's stuck together. But remember, always start at the top. I have a terrific story today, and it is full of W's. It's called the Worry Warts. And look, they've even got a capital W and a lowercase w in green for you could see the W's. Now this is a story about a weasel, a wombat, and a woodchuck. The Worry Warts. Do you know is it's some person or in this case animals that are always worried they think about what if what if and this is a story packed with W's so I thought I'd share it today with you it is written by Pamela Duncan Edwards in other words she wrote the words and the it was illustrated this person wrote drew the pictures Henry Cole, the worry warts. A wrap around cover? No, nah, not a wrap around cover. Now you listen for all the what what you hear. The worry warts. Take a look. Oh, that look like wasp. They look like they're in water. Oh my. The worry warts. Here they are. Mmm. One warm morning, the sun winked through Wombat's window and woke her up. What a wonderful day to wander the world, she thought. Listen to the W's. Warm, Wednesday, wink, Wombat, window, woke, wonderful, wander, world. Those are all W words. So that's Wombat. All right.
Wombat went to ask Weasel and Woodchuck whether they would go with her. Where is the world? asked Weasel. Past the wishing well, down the pathway, and through the woods, answered Woodchuck, who was very well read. So they set to work, wondering what to take with them. Here's Weasel, Wombat, and Woodchuck. So they're going to go wandering in the world. Mm. Wonder what they'll take. Wombat wanted watercrest on whole wheat bread sandwiches, walnut wafer, wafers, waffles with whipped cream, wedges of watermelon on her walking and her walking stick. She wanted all those things. Weal, weasel wanted wieners and liverwurst on his and his water pistol. And then Woodchuck wanted the W volume of Webster's Book of Words in case they needed to look up information about the world. But then Wombat began to worry. Wait, she yelled, wailed. What if? Oh, she does look worried. What if? were walking past the wallflowers and a swarm of wasps is waiting. What if they swirl around us and we're nothing to swat them with? What if we're running away and we're not watching where we're going and suddenly we're wading up to our waist in water? What if the wave whooshes over us and a wallowing walrus swims up and swallows us? What then? Now she's imagining all this that possibly could happen. So let's go, what our friends say. If we're going swimming, said Weasel, I want to wear my water wings. So he's putting on his water wings. You're so wise, Weasel, cried Wombat. We won't be worry warts. But then Weasel began to worry. Wait, he wailed. What if... We're waltzing down the pathway, then a wicked wolf comes winding his way towards us. What if we wave to him, but he won't wag his tail? Oh, what if we're running away when the weather worsens? What if a whirlwind blows in from the west and sweeps us away into the wilderness? What then? My, they're worrying about lots of things, aren't they? If it's going to be windy, said Woodchuck, then I'll want to wear my woolly underwear. You're so wise, Woodchuck, cried Weasel. We won't be worry warts. But then... Woodchuck began to worry. Wait, he wailed. What if what if we're whistling while we walk through the woods and we wake up an owl? What if he gets worked up and swoops down with the swish of his wings and a whisk us away? What if the weight's too much for him and he begins to wobble? What if he drops us into a swamp and a warthog comes wading along and wallops us? What then? Oh, my. They are worrying about so many things. Here they are. If we're going flying, 
said Wombat. I want to wear my wind helmet. You're so wise, Wombat, cried Woodchuck. We won't be worry warts. Then, without wasting any more time, they wrapped the watercrest on the whole wheat bread sandwiches, the waffles with whipped cream, the walnut wafers, the wedges of watermelon, the wieners and the liverwurst, in waxed paper, Woodchuck put the W volume of Webster's Book of Words into his wheelbarrow, and away they went to wander the world. So this is what they took with them. Lots of W words there, boys and girls. The watercrest on whole wheat bread, the waffles with whipping cream, the walnut wafers, the wedges of watermelon, the wieners and the liverwurst in wax paper. There's the W volume of Webster's book. And there, all that goes in the wheelbarrow as they wander the world. Whoa, whoa. After a while, Wombat said, I was wondering whether we should eat our sandwiches. Mm, Wombat's already hungry. So they sat on a wall, they played with a wiggly worm and watched a spider weaving a web on the wisteria. The wisteria would be the flowers right here. There's the spider too. And there's the worm. But suddenly, <gasps> watch out! warned a woodpecker from a willow, weeping willow tree. Something whooshed around Wombat's watercrest on whole wheat bread sandwich. A wasp, she cried swiftly. Wombat whacked the air with her walking stick and whizzed a wedge of watermelon into some weeds. Wow, she's got that stick. Woof! Wump, whoop the wasp, watermelon, mouth watering, and the wasp went winging away. Well done, Wom Wombat, cried Weasel and Woodchuck. You were wonderful. You're welcome, said Wombat, and they set off again to wonder the world. Well, they took care of that mishap that happened. But suddenly, watch out, came a whisper from a rabbit. There's the rabbit. From a rabbit warren. Someone came swaggering down the pathway towards them. Whoops, quaid weasel. A wicked wolf swiftly weasel twirled his wieners and liverwurst into some wildflowers and whooshed his water pistol at the wolf. There's his water pistol. There he goes, squirting the wolf with it. Wieners and liverwurst, cried the wolf, wiping his wet whiskers. I'm wild about wieners and liverwurst. Away he went with his tail wagging. Way to go, cried Wombat and Woodchuck. You were very willy, weasel. We weren't wimps, agreed Weasel, and they set off again to wander the world. Well, they're having quite a time wandering the world. But suddenly, watch out, warbled waggled, Wagtail Woodchuck saw an eye twinkling behind the twig. And ow! He cried swiftly. Woodchuck whirled his W volume of Webster's Book of Words at the owl. Wang! Whoopee, cried the owl. Just what I wanted to help me with my word game. You're so wise, Woodchuck, said Wombat and Weasel. 
Another problem solved. We've walked a long way, said Wombat. I'm weak and weary, said Weasel. I'm worn out, said Woodchuck. So they went back along the pathway. When will we wander the world again, wandered Wombat. I wish we could go again next week, said Weasel. Why not, said Woodchuck. But... There they are, going to their house. And they're thinking about going next week, but then there's a big but. What if? And there's Woodchuck with a cat above him and Weasel with a, oh, looks like a whale. And there is Wombat with a witch. They're thinking about what if again. Oh my goodness. They have so many doubts, so many doubts about what if, what would happen. You know what? All we really have to do is trust God. He'll take care of us. He'll protect us and take care of us. What I did want to share with you, boys and girls, is I looked up each of these animals, and I wanted to share you some information about the wombat. Here's, here's the picture of the wombat, and the wombat is about four foot long, and he weighs between 30 and 75 pounds. He has brown fur, and he's a marsupial. That means he has a pouch on him like a kangaroo. Ah, oh, that's different. They're found in Australia. Then, the weasel, here's my weasel, and the weasel is a small, furry animal. I have two pictures here. They have a long slender body and short legs. They're only 12 to 18 inches long, just like as long as a ruler, and they only weigh nine ounces, so they're very small. They're not heavy. They're brownish, reddish, and yellowish fur. On the backside, but underneath they're tan and white. And what's interesting is if the, the weasel is in where there's a lot of winter, the weasel actually turns white in the winter, so it's camouflage, and the rest of the year it's this color. So that's our weasel. And the other animal that we talked about on Groundhog Day is the woodchuck. Actually, a woodchuck, the woodchuck is a groundhog. And it's about two feet tall. It has a bushy tail and a broad, flat head. It has very coarse fur. It's grayish, brown, yellowish, orangish under part, and the woodchuck, as we learned talking about the groundhog, hibernates in the winter, so he sleeps all winter. Well, that's my information today, boys and girls, about W, and we got to hear lots of W words, and we got to see some animals with W. It's been good with you, big gun talking to you. Practice your W's, practice your song. Have a good day, and let's all have an air hug. And we'll see you till next time. Bye-bye.